My name is Peter Ward, no Padamach Ward Masmalet. I'm the owner of Country Choice in with my wife Mary and Nina for um, the last 38 years. We're a, a food emporium and um, a handmade business, let's call it. And for the last 10 years, we have a lovely shop here in the heart of Limerick in the milk market. In terms of the festival, the festival, I see food as an art anyway, and I see food as high culture, and I don't see an ability in any way to detach one from the other. And, and some of the people I deal with, the artisans, are very close to artists in their, in their, in their, in their own field. But um, the, the, the literary festival is very stimulating. I've been, in, I've been involved maybe six, eight, nine years, I suppose, um, Marie Hackett was one of my customers and she asked me to get involved very, on, very early on in terms of a food sponsorship and I saw the opportunity to bring my passion of food and literature together. So I always take the food of artisans and the food of artists to the Literary Festival and I find a very appreciative audience there. I am an eclectic reader. I've been a collector since um, in my, I was in my 20s um, there's, I, I don't read fiction, um, but I, I do read great works of the imagination like poetry and things like that. I would read drama, I would read poetry, I read history. I love anything to do with culture, arts, craft, food, and the food, the history of food, and agriculture, history of agriculture. Generally things that represent my personal tastes in my life. And today I brought with me um, a, a small section that I would pick up from beside my reading chair. There are things that I would have um, looked at in the past couple of weeks or made reference to, or dare I say, taken a little bit of enjoyment and downtime for. The first thing I brought today is probably one of my most valuable, literally, um, um, collections. It's the Pacata, and it's printed sometime around 1622, and it's to the end of the Elizabethan reign, and it's really the end of the Nine Years' War. It's the Battle of Kinsale, it's the collapse of the old Irish order, the loss of the Bards, the loss of O'Neill and O'Donnell. Um, why I brought it today was because it um, contains so much of Limerick, Glyn Castle, uh, Skeeton Castle, and of course the great castle here in Limerick, and so much of the waters, and so much of the ships, and so much of the battleships on the shore here. And um, every time I, I come down to the bridge today when I parked, and I looked and I imagined great battleships uh, moored at the foot of the walls of the castle and courts going on and attentions going on and civil duties being performed and a scribe maybe making an entry that has arrived in this pacata today. So I see, I see literature very, very much as an immediate bind with the moment it has been written and the life of the scribe and the life of the people that he has um, brought with you brought along um, with him, I should say. What's not in the visual is very much in the imagination. In times of comfort and in times of grief, poetry. Uh, my favourite, the Irish Times book of Irish poems. It's got poems, Oscailgian, it's got poems, Imerla, and poems that we learned at school. And they're pro I probably pick it up twice a week. I could pick it up in the time that I'm eating an egg and read a poem and leave it back down and be influenced somewhat of the nuancing, the literature, the imagination, and the meaning of that particular poem. So I, I, I dearly love it. It's well thumbed and well used. The next thing I brought really was um, something I got last Christmas. We always buy in our independent bookshop in Nina, and I'm very proud of independent bookshops. John Rhines, it's called. And this is um, Harry Clark on the windows. Many times we admire the light in the churches and I have been many times been distracted by the beauty of the windows and not necessarily the message that's been given out by the, the, the priest or the minister on the day. And there are wonderful diversion in the churches in day, in night and in winter. And it reflects my great interest in art, craft and again history. And really to finish it all off, my all abiding passion in life is food. And it's really, it's not just food, because food could be, um, definitely food could be like a conveyor belt. It's food that, that is produce living, or produce led, I should say. Living produce that is produce led, or living food produce led. It's very much about the ingredients that I find myself working with every day. 
and how delighted that I am, whether it's a sack of potatoes, a bag of wholemeal flour, uh, a 20 pound block of butter, or a bucket of wild damsons that somebody has given me. How lucky I am first to, to receive this bounty, how lucky that the bounty is available and not destroyed in the environment in which we live in. And then it is passed over to me or my wife to work with, like a potter's clay. Uh, like a piece of gesso on an artist or something like the, the, the frames that we see around us here. And we work with that and we've worked with food for over 40 years. And we produce food with personality and food with magic. But we never, ever, ever lose the foundation. Where it has come from. Was it fairly grown? Did someone get a fair price for it? Could the grower send their children to school on the proceeds of their food? And will we treat it with respect so as not to damage the environment for the future? My choice is my great friend, uh, Rory O'Connell, who is a master when it comes to teaching. And he's um, definitely, uh, he's a genius when it comes to putting, putting food together. And I think himself and his sister have introduced so, so many people to the magic of good natural food. So I would encourage people to buy Irish food books this year, and particularly in independent shops, given to children and spread the word that uh, a nation can't march on an empty stomach. We can't learn, we can't be healthy, we can't deal with the anguish of the pandemic on an empty stomach. Nutrition is the key to everything as long as it's good, clean and fair.